so it's a very good opportunity to interviewing the two of the most demanding deans of the Samara State Medical University. One, I invite the Garvachok of the Foreign Dean Department in Samara State Medical University and the Administrative Department Head, the Andresher, he is also my teacher in third year and some guidance for US Mili we got for the student who is coming and planning for the Samara State Medical University and a third, and the first uh, upcoming student. So first question is, sir, please tell why Indian students should take Samara State Medical University as a priority of the choice. Uh, I, I know that uh, it's difficult uh, choice uh, today um, to um, in, go to the university, medical university in Russia Federation because many medical universities, many medical faculties in Russia, it's difficult to choose the best university. But uh, first of all, you must understand uh, what uh, the difference between different universities. First of all, it's our um, position, position in our rank of university. For example, uh, the Times Higher Education is a um, big uh, agency who rank the different university uh, of, uh, of the world, rank our university in the top 100-200 uh, uh, from medical uh, universities in the world. It's, it's very important for us. The next position is the history of university. The very old university uh, has a great old uh, medical school which provides uh, deep knowledge in the medical sphere and that's why if you choose a medical university or medical faculty try to learn history of this university, how long work this university. And yes, of course, uh, uh, you must understand uh, in what city, in what region located the university because uh, sometimes the city is not very big, uh, sometimes you can learn bad information about social sphere in this city and uh, I, th I can say that uh, Samara region is uh, one of the big region uh, in the Russian Federation with great climate, with great um, nature, with great uh, social, economical uh, sphere and that's why many many different uh, um, besides these points, uh, it's uh, points for choosing Samara State Medical University. And yes, of course, uh, we are graduates of Samar State Medical University and we stay working in our university because we like this university. Our university had um, international accreditation uh, two years ago. That's why our graduates successful can recognize their diploma by standard of uh, World uh, Federation of Medical Education and successful pass the exam. And one of the most important questions of the Indian student that what is the medical faculty and the practical exposure and also you can conclude it with the anatomy cadaver exposures. Dr. We have one of the best uh, uh, anatomy department and the cadaver uh, center uh, and uh, our, fr our freshers and uh, young students uh, enjoyed the, the stu to study in the anatomy department and uh, if you will uh, join us, uh, you will um, also participate in this fantastic process. And uh, um, I urge you to uh, enter to our, to admit to our university, and uh, it will be the one of the best choices in your life. No, mm, that's all. Yes, and uh, I can add that uh, only five uh, medical university in Russia Federation. Uh, have own clinic, big clinic, more than uh, 1,000 beds, and our university has uh, such clinic. Uh, it's, uh, this clinic is a base of practice uh, for our international and Russian students, and we honor that our university can uh, take an uh, educational process uh, in the department who, which is located in the clinic of Samara State Medical University. Uh, can you also please tell me about the security of the Indian student because the Indian parents are too much worried about own children and especially for the Indian girls a student who is uh, approaching for MBBS abroad or Samara State Medical University. Uh, what do you mean security? Like uh, safety. Uh, safety. Okay. Uh, first of all, you live uh, in a big city. The, the population of Samara is more than one million people. 
but in such a big city we have a special uh, police, special uh, safety uh, departments who organize uh, the process of uh, living uh, our citizens and uh, citizens of foreign in from, from another country. You will live in the dormitory of our university and the dormitory uh, have such uh, special safety um, points uh, for um, living. It's the camera, it's the security, it's the um, students council, it's the special staff uh, who work in the uh, dormitory all day. And uh, we try to uh, create a safety condition for people who study and uh, live in our dormitories and live and study in Samara State Medical University. Like in few days, I received uh, many questions about the black magic is happening with the Indian student. Really, it is uh, something true in this because I am in a fourth year student in a Samara and I didn't see anything like that. But it's important that our dean will confirm it and. Yes, answer. Black magic, uh, it's, it's fake. Uh, you, I, I know that uh, in every country you can find people who provide black magic, white magic and so on. <laughs> I, I know shaman in another country, but uh, population of Russia Federation is a religion person. And we know that a religion of Russia person is uh, um, Christian, is... Uh, in English, uh, uh, Christian. Christian. Yes, and uh, uh, our rule, our rule, it's it's don't connect with the black magic because uh, it's a bad thing for our people, and that's why when some person say that in Russia it's black magic, it's fake. You must, uh, you did, you don't um, must think about such uh, ways because it's it's not true. It's totally, uh, I can answer this question like that. It's totally defaming uh, our university and reputation. So this is illegal thing. And if this type of rumors will be spread, we will take legal action. Okay. So as you listen, that there is nothing like this here. And I am also here. And I am a Ukraine transfer student here. And I approximately completed my two years in this university. So I don't know who is saying black magic or whatever. यहाँ पे सारे और सारे ऑफिसियल्स आपके साथ यहाँ पे बैठे हैं आपको अगर ऐसा कुछ मिस बिहेव कोई कर भी रहा है या किसी तरीके के इश्यूज भी आ रहे हैं देन दे आर अवेलेबल आप इनको अभी रिसेंटली डिंस ऑफिस से हमें मैसेज भी आया है कि दे आर सम नंबर्स दैट यू विल कांटेक्ट अगर आपके साथ कोई ऐसा इमरजेंसी सिचुएशन होता है तो सो सर नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन इज स्टूडेंट हु स्टडी इन द यूनिवर्सिटी एंड दे वॉन्ट टू डू पार्ट टाइम जॉब विथ स्टडी what types of help you can provide like in we know in dormitory we cannot enter after 12 so is that any special facilities in dormitory for who is doing job like in saturday and sunday we are a leave and some student doing extra part time jobs for earning money so that he can help our parents too yes uh, some students who are working uh, and uh, came to the dormitory after 12 uh, about this university, we, uh, about the students we have official information, commandant of uh, uh, hostels know uh, these students because uh, we have uh, the list the students who work after the 12 and for them yes uh, our dormitory is open but uh, you must understand uh, that, stu that some students who go to the nightclub and uh, another um, not very good activities um, it's difficult uh, on the next day to go to the study when you uh, go to the nightclub and all night you have a dance and so on. That's why, first of all, you are students, you are students, you are not a visitor of nightclubs and uh, any activities. First of all, you must study and must understand that uh, and the next day you must go to the lesson and uh, you must prepare to the lesson. And you must uh, use uh, the weekend for preparing for your studying because you, you in future, must be a good doctor. Uh, you must be, uh, you must successful pass the final exam. You must successful pass MBBC exam and so on. That's why you must study. And for, uh, for students, we, our university, organize special events, evening events such as fresh party. If you want to go to the nightclub, yes our university can organize these events for you but uh, if you go to the nightclub without our uh, opinion about our uh, decision it's not good it's not safety for you and 
the last question is what is the mode of uh, language in our university like it is a bilingual or in english medium so all six years the students study in english uh, and the final uh, exam also will be in english uh, except one uh, exception uh, you will uh, communicate with the patients in russian and uh, that's why you need uh, to uh, learn uh, russian and uh, to study it well and uh, if you are going to work in the russian hospitals uh, at samara and um, maybe in other in other towns and cities you must know russian but all the uh, process educational process and final exams will be in english so this is also breaking news was exam will be in english right yes right Okay, there is one news that the GOS exam, which is the licensing exam in Russia, is in in English. So that's all for this video, and I hope that you have got all the questions answered. Thank you, thank you, sir. Thank you. Thank you. Bye.